We got a taste of that with cyclicals and small caps and banks in the month of July. They all just went up all at the same time as we had been calling for in the sea change uh, public appearances that we had on Fox in late June and early July. And sure enough, it came and it came very, very quickly. Uh, you're seeing microcap even start to outperform the S&P 500. And then some key quotes um, where you're seeing Night Swift. This is from earnings this week, Night Swift Transportation. Uh, the early signs of a market setting up to change. So they the transports have been smoked and now uh, they're starting to see some light at the end of the tunnel. The other thing that was interesting, there were two semiconductor companies I'm trying to remember if it was Qualcomm or NXPI who had like 87% year-on-year growth in semiconductor demand for autos, which is a nice look through for Cooper Standard. We'll see. There was a plant shut down uh, in June. So, you know, time will tell. We'll see what the earnings tell us. Um, Texas Instruments, Momentum Across All Markets, United Rentals showing particular strength in manufacturing. That's been a key part of our thesis. There's been some mixed numbers, but I think on balance, it's recovering out of a two-year recession. Uh, Canadian Railways is moving right. Uh, they're, they're seeing, let's see, North America production trending slightly positive. Um, Tesla, people are underestimating this demand for grid storage, probably by orders of magnitude, which helps Generac, and we saw that.